going down the PDF to the next section. This will be part two, marketing and sales funnels. Now, I think sometimes what people try to do with marketing and sales funnels is they try to put them all into one thing. One of the things that I've learned is that there's different types of funnels for different types of scenarios. And marketing and sales funnels are only two of them. There's also fulfillment, there's also HR, there's also finance. So marketing and sales, I like to separate them. Marketing is anything that comes before you create the lead and partially into the sale process, a, a free offer or a free product. And then once we have that, we're trying to sell that person into a product or service. So let's look at this. I've gone ahead and created a PowerPoint so that we can start to look at this and write the answers. So each one of these is a six-part process. So there's a six-part marketing funnel and there's a six-part sales funnel. Let's take a look at the marketing one first. So the first step is awareness. And again, building awareness means many, many things. It's about lead generation getting the right type of client into the right place and getting them to take some type of action. So you're talking about marketing campaigns, consumer research, events of obviously advertising, trade shows, blogs, webinars, direct mail, viral campaigns, social media, search media mentions, and much more. The, the list is endless on how to create awareness for your products and services. I think many of us would agree, and I'm not uh, I'm not uh, at all shy about saying this. Most of the companies that I work with, and I work with some <laughs> big ones, uh, they all struggle with awareness, building awareness. It would be nice, yes, to have $5.6 million for a 30-second commercial uh, at the Super Bowl, but how many of you can actually do that? So in small business, the way that we build awareness is much of it through grassroots and digital marketing and social platforms and all of the different things that I've written here. I can tell you that many, many, many people struggle with this and I will give you some very specific examples on how I think you can make the best use out of the traffic that you do get. So if it's a thousand people a day to your website, that's great. If it's 10 people a day to your website, also good. How do you make the most out of those leads? The next uh, section is generating interest, creating consideration, and then intent. So interest means do I have a, a curiosity level that says, yeah, that sounds like something I could use or I'm interested in? Consideration meaning, how does it compare to other things? You need product information and specials or automated email campaigns and case studies and free trials. And then finally, the intent, the, the intent to get somebody to register for something. And again, we'll give you some examples of that going forward. The next section is the evaluation process and then the first purchase. So the evaluation process means whatever I have consumed, whatever I've become aware of that your product does over other products, eventually I'll get to the, the purchase process. So this is what we call a marketing funnel. And why, does, why is it shaped like this? Why is it a funnel? And I think the answer is not everybody's going to purchase. So as they work their way through the funnel, the number of people that reach the purchase point is less and less and less. So again, if you have, uh, you're building awareness and 30,000 eyes get on your product and service this month, maybe you'll make 1% of sales based on that 30 person, 30,000 person audience, okay? So that's what funnel means, is as they work their way through the funnel, the numbers of people that go through each stage becomes less and less. Uh, just a point on this, if you're trying to sell to everyone, you'll sell to no one. 
It's really about what is the product or the, the key differentiator between your products and services and other people. It's not what makes you better, it's what makes you different, and we've talked about this in previous courses. The next funnel, as they reach the purchase point, it's not, for most companies, it's not game over. It's not they buy something and that's the end of it. Most companies these days know that the initial purchase can lead to many, many other purchases, and that's where the next sales funnel starts. The sales funnel starts with what I call tripwire. Tripwire means low cost in time and money. It's a, a term that we use in marketing to get people to participate in the initial tripwire sale, something that is a lot easier to do than more expensive, more demanding products and services. What many companies try to do is make that initial low cost in time and money offer to entice people to participate. As soon as they see the value of that, then sales marketing automation takes over and it says, oh, you had a good experience with that, here's the next level of products and services that can help you. And that next level is core product. Core product, for most people, is where you make the majority of your money. It's the product or service that most people come to your company for. I'll give you an example. In my marketing agency business, the, the, the main core product that I offer or that our company offers is what we call executive consulting. Now, that can mean many things, but essentially what I'm doing is working with the executive teams to strategize and implement complex marketing campaigns. Those campaigns mostly include experience from digital marketing, but they can also apply to many things, the creation of content, video, uh, advertising. So there's many traditional elements of marketing, and then there's many non-traditional elements, things like digital marketing. So that's my core product. That does not mean that initially they might hire us as a tripwire to build a small website, build a landing page. And as soon as they start to see value with those things, graduate them into our core product, which is the executive consulting program. I think that's probably uh, the most appropriate example I could give you in graduating somebody from tripwire to core product. Next, and I think it's still not over, by the way, next what you want to do is create what we call a profit maximizer. So a profit maximizer is working on the people that are continuously consuming your core products and services and providing them a higher level of value and uh, experience. Profit maximizer in relationship to the, the core business of executive consulting could be a specific project that is above the monthly retainer. So in the process of delivering your monthly services, you're creating a much larger project, something that could be 100,000, 200,000, or even three to $500,000, which we've done in the past. So this is, this is something that, um, the people who purchase Tripwire, those people aren't going to be interested in that because you just haven't built enough trust yet. As you build trust and as they start to see the numbers flow, and actually I had one of my clients in here the other day, he brought in last year's numbers. Here's what we spent on advertising and your company, and here's how much we made, and the numbers were fairly significant. So again, that, that particular client would be primed then to go, well, what else can we do? Is there other things that we can do to make a bigger impact? That's where Profit Maximizer comes in, and really that's where your imagination comes. And 
there's still another level beyond that, and that is creating a lifetime client. A lifetime client, somebody that's consuming core products, that's consumed profit maximizer products, and continues to do so over the long haul. And of course, as they get through, it's less and less clients, and then in the end, you really want to be innovating new products and services, and sky's the limit on that. That's where innovation, imagination, creativity, all of the things that you're good at, you start to see the need in the marketplace, you start to fulfill that need with your products and services and your brain power and your creativity and all of the energy that you've got behind you and your company. So if you turn back to the PDF, which you're probably already on, I'll turn back to it, I've given you the six areas to fill out. And one more time, let's go through them just to repeat. The first one, marketing funnel, awareness, interest, consideration, intent, evaluate, then purchase. And then the sales funnel is tripwire, core product, profit maximizer, lifetime client, innovate, and then sky's the limit.